Kia ora Year 13. This is going to be the first of two videos that goes through the exemplar that we looked at in class. So I haven't put the resource sheet in here because I'm hoping you've all got your copy, but this question is about Roger and what he should feed his rabbits. Okay, so going over the basics, here's what we've got. Um, so Roger wants to feed the rabbits three types, possibly, of pet food. Xena, Yum and Zany. And we're going to be looking at the vitamin intake for those things. Okay, so the Zany company is trying to improve its product and it's told Roger that it's changing the amount of vitamin A in its rabbit food. We're going to um, use simultaneous equations to recommend what Roger should do with the rabbit food and also to give Zany some ideas on how much vitamin A to add to its product. You need to write a report for your answer and the way you communicate is really important. So probably the biggest thing I'm going to emphasize in this first video is that how we describe and then set up the equations is really, really important. Okay, so here's what we're told. Um, we're told that he wants his rabbits to have this much food. 1,000 micrograms of vitamin A and he wants to have 1,600 milligrams of vitamin C and 2,400 milligrams of vitamin E. Okay, and then we're told about what each gram of the three different foods contains. So um, what we're looking for is how many grams of food Roger should feed his rabbits to meet their exact daily vitamin requirement. So when we think about our equations, we're going to have one equation that's about the vitamin A, one equation that's about vitamin C, and one equation that's about vitamin E. We are not going to have one equation about Xena, one about Yum, and one about Zany. These are going to feed into, excuse the pun, these equations. So if you start by thinking about the three equations, um, what, what they're going to be, I think that's a good place to start. Right, so let's do a little table. Here's what they've each got. Xena, one gram of Xena has got two micrograms of A, it's got three milligrams of C, whoops, C goes there, and it's got five milligrams of vitamin E. Just get rid of that. Okay, the next one, yum, has got four milligrams of A, seven milligrams of C, and nine milligrams of E. Zany has got five micrograms of A, 10 milligrams of C, and 14 milligrams of E. So my equations are going to look like this. One of them will have the vitamin A content. So he wants his rabbits each to get 1,000 micrograms of vitamin A. And we're going to do that with a combination from Xena, Yum and Zany. The second equation is going to be the one for vitamin C. And he wants his rabbits each to get 1600 of vitamin C. And the third one is going to have 2400 milligrams of vitamin E. So just notice that it's not a problem that this one, this one, and this one are about completely different things, or that the units for this one are different. It just doesn't matter. What matters is that the units here match up to the units up here. So what we're looking for is the combination of Xena, Yum, and Zany food that's going to, to give us these things satisfied. But before we go any further, we need to define our variables. So very conveniently, they start with X, Y, and Z. Right, so we'll start with some let statements like you did in year 9 and 10. Let a gram 
of Zena be x. Right? Let one gram or a gram of yum be y. And let one gram of zany be z. Okay? So now we're ready to go. So hopefully you copied down that table from a slide back. If you didn't, you can pop back the beauty of rewind and get that down into your notes. So here come our three equations. Right, so we want a thousand micrograms of vitamin A. Well, for every one gram of Xena, we get two micrograms of vitamin A. So it's going to be 2x plus 4 grams for every yum gram, 4y plus 5z. Okay, so just make sure you've, you're really good with going from what you had in the table into this. Okay, so this is all about the vitamin A from the three different options. The next one is the vitamin C. So from every gram of Xena, we get three um, milligrams. So that's 3x. And for every gram of yum, we get seven milligrams. And for every gram of Xena, we get 10. Okay, similarly, I'm going to speed up a tiny bit. For the vitamin E, we have this equation. 5x plus 9y plus 14z. Okay, so the first part of the problem asks you to report how many grams of food from each company should Roger feed his rabbits in order to meet their exact daily vitamin requirement. So it's totally fine to put that into your graphics calculator and get out a unique solution. So we're going to do that now. Okay, so here's what you're going to put into your calculator. You're going to go to Equa and then um, Simultaneous. Now, I haven't got mine in front of me, as usual. But I think everyone is pretty good with doing this. So we've got 2, 4, and... Five here, constants 1000. Here we've got 3, 7, 10, and constants 1600, and 5, 9, and 14, and 2400. So we pop that in and we hit solve, and we get okay, so sorry, just like breaking the video there. Um, we get x equals 300, y equals 100, and z equals 0. Okay, so we have to put that into context. And the other thing we have to notice is that we have got a unique solution. So we've got one answer, right? We've found the one combination of Xena and Yum and Zany that will exactly meet his requirements. And so these equations work, right? They are consistent. Okay, we've found the unique solution. So on the next slide, we'll look at... Um, what we would say, because we have to make a recommendation for what Roger should do. So, based on these vitamins in Xena, Yum and Zany, he shouldn't give them any zany. So what we've got there is we've got z is equal to zero. Okay, so that's the first part of the problem done. All right, so just those three steps again is that we took our information and we decided how we were going to set up our variables. So let da 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 da. So define your variables. All right, and then we wrote our three equations and then we solved them right and we got a unique solution to that 
and we've written that up in context for what Roger should do. Okay, so that's basically what you need to do for achieved, right? But very important that you set your variables up carefully first. Two reasons for that. It's good communication, which is what we need to see, and it means you're more likely to write your equations correctly, right? So we figured out, first of all, that we had equals 1,000 here, equals 1,600 here, and equals 2,400 here. So we had an equation for vitamin A, an equation for vitamin C, and an equation for vitamin E. Then we went back and we looked at what came out of each of X, Y, and Z, Xena, Yum, and Zany, towards each of those equations. Okay, so there's lots of practice in the workbook, the New Late workbook, if you've got that one, or the ESA workbook, or the Sigma textbook. I'm going to do the Merit and Excellence stuff in um, some separate videos, because this is already long enough. Thank you very much for watching.